A local school teacher accused of child molestation. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Tanya Kraft was later acquitted in a Catoosa County court, and now she's written a book that looks back on that experience. Calvin Sneed sat down with Kraft today. He joins us now with what she had to say. Calvin. Latricia, Josh, it is a book of mystery. It's a book of intrigue. What you'll read will probably make you angry, and it really happened. Seven years ago, the life of a Chickamauga, Georgia school teacher was turned upside down. Her name is Tanya Kraft, accused of heinous crimes that left her scarred for life. There are things, sometimes on a daily basis, but definitely that come up that highly affect my life that will be forever changed because of these circumstances. Those circumstances, 22 charges of child molestation. She lost her children, her job, her home, and her self-confidence. She could just give up or fight. Tanya Kraft says the choice was easy. When I stand up for that verdict, I wanted to know that I had done every single thing I could do to prove that I was innocent. It paid off. Count number one, not guilty. Not guilty on all 22 counts. The accused acquitted. Accused is the title of a book Tanya Kraft has written. She says she investigated her own case because she says prosecutors trying to put her in jail did not. I cross-referenced, I broke it down, I did things during this and learned how to do things that the trained individuals should have done in the first place. When Kraft was first charged, her two children were taken away from her. The next time she heard from them, one was on the witness stand. She says she almost did not recognize her daughter. I feel like that all the children were severely influenced by parental figures, and they said that in their interviews, every one of them. In the book, she speaks of words of encouragement she received from relatives, her friends who held a prayer vigil for her, and from total strangers. The support has been absolutely incredible. I mean, I could never, never have imagined it. And, um, and I wish I could thank everybody and talk to everybody. You haven't heard the last of Tanya Kraft. Once accused, this former teacher is now on a mission. Um, I feel like I'm going to educate in a different way. And I feel like this book can shed light, not only how it can go horribly wrong very quickly. And coming up on News Channel 9 at 6, besides the book, find out what else Tanya Kraft is doing to educate the public on what happened to her and hear what she thinks of the prosecutors in her case. Your life ripped from you, prosecutors saying you did heinous crimes against children, and then after trial, you're found not guilty. Former school teacher Tanya Kraft has now written a book because she says her ordeal is something that everybody can learn from. Tanya Kraft says the day two detectives rang her doorbell, her world stopped. You lose your children and your family and your home and your job that you really love. 22 counts of child molestation. What followed was agonizing months of investigation, trial, then acquittal. In her book, Accused, Kraft says the way she was prosecuted left a bad taste. I think it was handled poorly. I think there has been no responsibility taken, and I'm very sad and disappointed for the Lookout Mountain Judicial Circuit. She says prosecutors should have taken better care to investigate her case. Let's sit back for just a minute and objectively look at this, not on my behalf or on the other side's behalf or on, you know, just um, on the behalf of doing it correctly and seeing what's really going on here. She writes about learning things that trained investigators should have learned. The book contains lots of information gleaned from her trials, stacks of material condensed down into story form. But I feel like I can do things to help other people and to help educate on how this can happen. She says investigators did not have an effective case, and she, her family, and especially her children, all suffered for it. I'm saying to do it correctly and to do it properly because it has lifelong effects for the person accused, but also for the children that have to be involved in this. Accused. It goes on sale Saturday, September 5th at Barnes & Noble. Right now, Tanya Kraft is going to law school. She's consulting on cases, and she's also interning in the Hamilton County DA's office.